Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good night. First of all, English is not my mm, mother language. My mother language is Portuguese, but I'm trying to speak English so I can reach the most people from what I'm going to say. So I've been studying with Enki Yewanji Lee for a couple of years. And sorry, because of my strong accent, um, I'm trying my best to so you guys can understand me. So, anyway, um, I've been studying Zenki and Wanjili. I came very close to their work. The left one is mine, the right one is the original one. So, I'm going to show you guys what I did and then I see they are doing and what I learned with my studies so the first of all is opacity he will create a shape with a very low opacity so if I create some background some neutral background like oh right and I put some a very specific shape he will not create a shape like this he would the opacity very low very low and he would create with very slowly with a low a very low pen pressure so he would create this shape with a very low pen pressure not pressuring at uh, at all and he would just paint over it place that he wanted darker with a very I'm, I'm not putting any strong pressure on my on my tablet I'm just painting very slowly and this would create this texture effect like if I put very strong pressure it should paint okay but it's not going to show you show you the texture so uh, you can see but you can see the texture if I put a very slow pressure you can see more the texture so he would uh, build the shape this way so let me finish this you know, as you can see it's like all right I'm going to a shadow here and that's it Let me put some, some dark sh darker shapes here some darker fellows all right all right all right now what he's going to use is the mixer brush to create more more of a shape so not with the load solid colors because what load solid colors will take is just the colors <laughs> so he would take just the colors I have a little bit of texture because of the brush but if I turn it off I'm going to take just not only the colors but all the texture and I create more paint look and it took me two years two years to discover <laughs> that this was turned it on <laughs> so make sure that it's turned it off alright so okay I'm going to uh, refine my shape right here create something more solid more specific and places like this where the shadow is combining with the, the shape you can mix it all up so let me take the, the background and build with the background Oops. I guess uh, I guess that's good. Mm. 
so it look like a, a snake skin, you know. It's, it's more like a a real painting. So some places he will take the flow very a little bit of flow. So what the flow does is you see this 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 snake snake shape like snake skin snake's skin so flow 100% flow 20% you can see more of the texture you can see more of the texture not so much the um, this snake texture I don't know if I'm going very I don't know if I'm being clear but I hope you guys understand so after that he will uh, use overlay a lot because he will take some color and he use a lot of this big strength this brush because this brush has a special special thing thing that it changes its color so if I put a lot of pressure it's going to be blue if I put a little press it's going to be yellow because the this color is yellow so yellow complex so as you can see it's not just yellow it's green too because it takes this color variation so he would create like a very low opacity and put like I don't know red let me put some red Right, right here. Uh, and put some yellow. So I'm creating a um, red ball. So and he will take this and create. Okay, it's just the normal thing. But if I put yellow overlay, I, I mean, sorry, um, I'm going to create a lot of different colors, over saturated colors. different so as you can see some places is yellow if I put yellow here yellow is uh, the light and the red is the, the dark place okay it's dark so it's the shadow red is the shadow yellow is the and then he would use the mixer brush just to wrap things up so if I put the mixer brush with 40 just to wrap things up sorry sorry all right so taking this color and I'm going to paint the, the shadow as red too and I can make a lot of things like I want to put blue a little bit of blue with the overlay and this is going to take a little bit of blue so you can see it's not blue it's purple <laughs> because of the color variation that this brush, this brush has if I put purple I don't know yeah, it's going to be purple uh, cyan you can see all these colors coming together so after that he would use the mixer brush again and just makes everything together like you know 100% Right. So the problem is that the va the values uh, is not right. You is not a very strong shadow right here. But it w what you can do about it is just use a soft brush. Soft round and take this color, take our overlay 
oops, not this brush, and create this, this kind of effect, just so you can see the where is the shadows and where is the light. Just uh, to make something. Um, and that's it. And he would, after that, he since you are putting the values and the shapes in the right place, after that you can make everything abstract. It doesn't matter if you have the same shape, the same value. Like if I take this kind of um, brush that creates a lot of texture, and I take this color, take this, turn it overlay off, normal. Okay, uh, putting a lot of abstraction, so I'm going to put some green. green and I don't know blue blue mm, yellow uh, yes that's it after that he will just mix everything up so I can use this brush or I can use this brush and take it everything and just mix it Mix it everything. It's going to be a, a gorgeous background uh, with a very painty look. It's already looking like a painting. It's already looking like a painting. So sorry, my computer is lagging. And as you can see, he does this a lot, like um, right here, you can see that it's a lot of mixer brush. It's just a very big mixer brush <laughs> look. And here is just mixer brush. I guess he's using this, this brush right here. And this brush right here. Yeah, it's the same brush. Um, as you can see, you have a lot of different colors underneath the hair, but the overall color is like this, I don't know, white, this <laughs> white color. So as you can see, he, he would take like, okay, I, I want this little shape ball to be mm, blue. Okay, right. So it's going to be blue now. And um, I'm going to take the opacity down. Um, really shape this up. So it's now it's blue, but I can see a lot of different colors. I can see the red. Underneath, I can see, and this is what he does. He creates um, a lot of different different colors for the base. As you can see right here, you can see a little bit of green, a little bit of purple. It makes sense because of the skin. You have you need to have purple in the skin because of the veins and the all the things underneath the skin. And right here, you can see a lot of a little bit of green. It's not green. <laughs> it's not green, but something like a uh, neutral color, like red, pink, I don't know, green, ah, right here, green. This is the one that I tried to make. I, I think it looks very, very closer. I just got it wrong, the shape of the eye. It's, um, Right here, I was not trying to make something like him. I just used the same reference. 
this one is very interesting because uh, I was not using his brush. I was using the Krita brush. Krita has a um, have a, a brush that it looks like a, a painting. So this is Krita actually. It's not his brush. Right here is Paintstorm. I use it Paintstorm. As you can see, Paintstorm has this more water paint and my colors are wrong oops sorry oh sorry and this is mm, sandman i tried make sandman using his work what i stood it and you can see like this is one g lee it's not easy and you can see that uh, as I said, he, he only curates shapes that you can define, that is important, like the face, or, or right, the hand, the, the arm, I guess. And after that, he just creates a, a, a mess. But you, you can define some stuff in this mess. You just have to put the impression of a face, the impression of an arm, and everything comes together. like. This is his process. He creates the the sketch, and after the sketch, he creates the background. You can see how the texture. And I know what what brush is this. Is this brush right here? Is this brush here? Nope, not this. Sorry. What is this? What is that? No, 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 no. no. I guess it's. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, it's this. This is the brush that he was using that drawing. That drawing. I try a lot of times to <laughs> to paint to show you guys because okay. he's. This is the brush that he using that drawing. And as you can see, he has this texture drawing like this little uh, little pop right here. I I don't know uh, what to call it. I'm <laughs> going to call it a little pop. Um, and after that, he would slowly build the values and creating the dark tones, and more dark tones, more dark tones. And I it's interesting that as uh, artists, we are learning from Isen Key. Uh, I I was learning from Isen Key, but I realized that Isen Key was learning from Wen Jili. So a lot of Isen Key works looks like Wen Jili, as you can see. So that's it. That's it for today. I hope you guys could understand me what I'm what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry for my strong accent again, and I hope you you guys like it and you can learn a, a lot more, which is tips that I gave it to you. So that's it. Bye bye.